A bulldozer is the only way to get around for some. In the central Bosnian village of Kiesno Polje, hundreds are being forced from their homes again. Just three months ago, this small farming community was struck by similar torrents of mountain water and mud. After the first flood, I lived in a tent, but it's been swept away. Now I only have an umbrella. Besim's house has flooded three times since May. His two children, wife and parents, were evacuated, but he stayed trying to save his home. He witnessed the water destroy his brother's house. The house was taken away from the garage. It was floating. The stream was taking everything in front of it. The first wave was water. The second was mud. It all happened early in the morning or late at night. One farmer only has the stairs of his home left. He now lives in a tent and is just pleased his family managed to get to safety. I think this is the worst flood I've seen. We're now all living in fear of more flooding. Many villagers have been protesting about what they describe as a lack of government help dealing with the floods. Their efforts blocked the main road connecting Sarajevo and Zagreb. Now is not the time to be placing blame. We must focus on getting the village back on its feet. The flooded village lies on what was a battleground between Bosnian and Croatian forces in the 1990s. Two decades later, Croats from a nearby village were the first to help their neighbours. Croat Catholics are our fellow citizens. They see our pain. We did not ask for their homes. They have opened their homes for us. The floods, which have hit many parts of the Balkans, are said to be the worst the area has seen in 120 years. Chloe Culpin, Sky News.